right. Hey, what is up, guys? John from Magic Tech Review, and in tonight's video, I'm going to be talking about how I was so wrong about this whole Samsung Galaxy Note 9 thing, so I'm sorry for that, guys. Uh, basically, you know, there was a lot of speculations and rumors and everything that the Fortnite mobile game was going to be just like an exclusive to Samsung. Hey, what's going on, little Kleenex? Javon. I don't know. Why do people feel the need to say first? Because you said it. But um, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I like I like it when people try to be first in the video. I do. I, I like it. I enjoy it. It makes me feel like I'm a big YouTuber, man. It makes me feel important. But um, anyways, guys. So, yeah, I was really, really wrong. Uh, you know, I was going on with the hype. I was going on with the rumors and everything. Got caught up in all that. Uh is John about to buy a $1,000 plus phone? Yo, so I didn't get to see the full, I did not get to see the full thing yet. Uh, I did catch bits and pieces. I was at work, guys, so I didn't get to catch the full thing. So I want everybody, hey, I getting the Note 9. That's what's up, Tech Right. Tech Right is in the house. He says he's getting the Note 9. Hey, that's what's up, man. So yeah, let me show y'all, uh, let me show you this little, this little kitty. Right here, let me show you this little kitty right here. This guy has me, yo. This guy has my eyes like red as I don't know what, but this is Buddha right here. Hey, Mill Hustles for a dollar donation. So this is Buddha right here. So we do have a cat right now. His name is Buddha, and yo, my eyes are so red. I've been putting eye drops in my eyes, and I'm taking like um, I'm taking algae pills. So hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll be able to stay or whatever. But he's really He's a really cute cat, and I'll uh, I'll try to have I'll try to have him in some more videos or whatever. But as you can see, he's getting a little bit more comfortable with me. Uh, but you know what I'm saying this. So yeah, if you guys see me wearing wearing shades a lot, I can't find my shades tonight, which I would really love to have them on right now. But yeah, so that's the kitty. So um, I already told you about my allergies. How? Yeah, I know, I know, man, I know, bro, I know. Give Buddha a kiss. Nah, bro. Nah. Nah, I cannot. Like, I have my allergy drop medicine. I got my drops on deck. Yo, give him a bath. Bathe him often so gets. Okay, yeah. There you go. See? See, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know the first thing about cats, to be honest with you guys. But I got the cats, so we're, we're going we're gonna to see what we can do. Where's RJ at? I'm not sure. Not sure. So, yeah. So, Fortnite, you can get it. You can get it on several devices, which that really surprised me. I thought I thought they were really gonna pull that whole get it only on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, which would, would have been a complete disaster on Fortnite's part. But and so basically just they just made a skin. And like when I was listening to the whole thing go down, oh and thank you, Mill Hustles, for the dollar donation. If I have not said so, sorry about that. Um yeah, I thought I thought I thought Fortnite was gonna be like a exclusive just for Samsung Galaxy Note 9 users. I was yo, I was about to flip. I was about to flip when that dude came out on stage. And I thought that's what he was gonna say. But it ended up it ended up being like a little it ended up being a little skin, you know? Cause like everybody was like, Yeah, Samsung users get it. You know, and then he said, and if you have the Note 9, you get a Galaxy skin. Everybody's like, oh, it kind of just like, eh, you know, so. But anyway, to see the new Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay trailer, I have not. I have not. Hey, Slim Shinny Graphics, what's up, bro? Do you want to join in the stream? No Hustles, I know, wants to join on in. Michael Thomas, what's going on, man? Um, yeah, so basically, guys, that's basically, basically what I'm going to be talking about tonight. Now, I did not get the full specs, so who has the full specs and price for me? I was watching the first half of it, but then customers came. Obviously, I have to take care of customers. Uh, so what is the full price, guys? I can actually look it up. I can actually look it up right now. I can screen share it. Why you sold tonight? Because I want to. Because I want to be. Uh, John, is Fortnite available on your Galaxy S6? What is all the hype about the Fortnite game? Yeah, I, like, I don't know. I haven't played Fortnite yet. So I would love to be able to play Fortnite on, like, one of my mobile devices. Because I know 
My computer ain't gonna run it, but uh, okay. All right, that's what's up, Slim Shady Graphics. Well, I'm glad you enjoy yourself, guys. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to become part of the Magic Tech family if I have not said that. You've heard it before. And comment down below what you think about uh, the topic at hand right here, Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So what did you guys think? I thought the first part where the CEO was talking, he, he was a little bit long-winded. Obviously, they want to build up the emotion and they want to, you know, they want to show you guys the passion that goes within and everything like that. Uh, you know, so I don't blame them for doing that stuff, but it just it just seems like it kind of goes on and on and more and more and more and more that these phones come out. It's like they're always trying to tell you how passionate they are about the phones and about the devices. And I get it, you know, but it kind of just slows the pace down for me. It came out with a pre-order. OK, so. OK, for PlayStation 4, see, I don't want PS4, I don't want an Xbox One. So and I don't have a switch. So I've never played Fortnite. Now I have played PUBG, and I kind of enjoyed PUBG. It's all right, you know. Just join. Uh, what were you wrong? What was I wrong about? I was just. However, the Galaxy Watch is cool. I did see the Galaxy Watch. I did see the Galaxy Watch. I did see the Galaxy Home. So I did see those things. So no, I was basically I was just wrong about. Uh, I I was basically just wrong about. The Fortnite thing, because I thought the Fortnite thing was going to be exclusive just to Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I am thrilled to see that a whole bunch of people right now are actually being able to play their uh, Fortnites right now, you know what I'm saying, uh, with their with their devices right now. Now, I have the Samsung Galaxy S6, so it, it cut off at the 7, so I can't, get, I can't play it or whatever, so I was going to try it. PUBG Mobile is awesome. Yeah, it is. It is. Love the hat, MTR. Thank you, thank you. Yo, I don't know for some reason, but Hangouts is being poopy tonight, and it's not letting me switch my hat around. So it's kind of like you know, it's reversed or whatever. But you guys get, you guys get it. You guys get it. What's up, Eden? What's going on, Fast Lane? You think Metro or Cricket could get this phone? No, 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 no. Everybody asks that every year. Everybody asks that every year, and it's always going to be a big nope. Nope, nope, nope. No hustle says, "What is the hype around Fortnite?" I never played it. Um, it's basically it's basically like a PUBG type game with the building aspect to it. I don't know. I have I have watched some people I have watched some people play it. And it seems kind of cool. Uh oh. Let me get let me get my let me get my headphones in because I do have Mill Mills the hustles. In the uh, chat, real quick. Let me see here, so I can hear him, so I can hear the Bill Hustles talk. But yeah, um, yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't get to, I didn't get to see the whole, whole thing in, in its entirety. Let's see here. Going to Fortnite now. I was already downloading it before your live stream. Hey, cool man. No hustles. What's up? Now. Straight Talk will get the Note 9, but I don't think it's going to be in store. It'll be online like the last three notes. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. Uh, Close the door. So Pop Trigger says Fortnite is a 100-player, last-person standing battle royal game, and it's free. You have to admit a mobile game with support for 100 players at the same time is impressive. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, PUBG, I like PUBG. I, I didn't think I would like PUBG. I actually like PUBG. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I find myself playing it every now and again, playing a round of it. John, what's my what's my real name? My real name is John. Like it's right there. My name. My real name is John. So, well, you guys probably can't see my ring right there, but it won't focus. But it says John right there. But yeah. Yeah, I've played. PUBG. Yeah, I've never played. Uh... Fortnite, but I'm definitely going to check it out because I, I hear about it every time I freaking turn around. Uh, so, so uh, man, your latest video, man. What's up with that? I mean, a big wig from Track Phone Inc. stopped by work today, 
and he was checking out the displays. He has to visit, I don't know how many hundred stores because Walmarts are getting remodels in straight talk, track phone, total wireless, family mobile, all that. And he was like, yeah, we're going to, we're doing away with it. As soon as the stock runs out, that's it. Um, he's, he didn't, he said the situation was bad, but he didn't delve into it. Like I said in my video and they've already got a flip phone replacement. Uh, the Moto G6 is coming. A lot of people are excited about that actually. And yeah. Uh, how big was his weight though? You know what I'm saying? I mean, he could have just been pretty big. Oh, just no. been... <laughs> Anytime that he's, he's given us news, it always happens. He's been on a few of our conference calls. He works for a, a company called Mosaic. And they're like track phones, like number one uh, third party, third party company. You know what I mean? True, true. But I, I don't know. Man. I don't know. I, that, like, I, I'm, I, I'm making a video or whatever, and my video is going to come out tomorrow, not tonight. I didn't want to release it tonight. I wanted to wait, wait for a little bit. But basically, the gist of it is that I think these companies would be stupid and silly not to carry ZTE phones because of what happened. Because obviously their name is now basically cleared. They're in the good. They're in the green. They even have people watching them, what they're doing. They have representatives in the ZTE company themselves, you know, keeping an eye out. I don't want to touch my eye, but keeping an eye out uh, for what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be silly for them just to like, oh, well, we're not going to carry ZTE phones no more. You know, well, especially if they come out with some really compelling devices. Like, this is what I think. Bro, it's just like silly. It's just dumb. Th this is what uh -huh. I think happens. And this is this is strictly uh, speculation. I think that as soon as this, you know, quote unquote meltdown happened and they were supposedly on life support. Because if you, if you remember this whole mess. This whole mess transpired in like a week. Like it was super fast. It's like this company is booming one week and the next week they're on their deathbed. I think what happened with some of these carriers is they panicked. Well, I'm not going to say they panicked because there's other, there's other, you know, manufacturers. Well, I could say they kind of panicked because of the backlash that DTE and Huawei was getting. Then I think they just pulled the plug prematurely. And I think that I think they're gonna I think they're gonna just come back, bro, and they're gonna be just fine. And people are, you know, people are just especially you hear these, you know, employees that probably don't even have a real say in the matter, and they're just, you know, just regurgitating what other people are telling them. Like, come on, bro. Like people are like, Oh, I went inside a Metro PCS and one of the employees told me, like, who's that employee, dude? How how low on the food chain is this guy? Like, you know, well, so you're talking to the guy making I remember, seven dollars an hour making I, making dirt. I remember when I come on now. You gotta now, do that. Remember, Yo, come on. I remember when I told you that. But let me tell you something that has happened since. Since then, at three unrelated stores, because you know I was looking for the iPhone six S and I still haven't found it. More employees have said the same thing. I'm not saying it's true though. Now the reason I think my News is more more credible is because first off we both work for Trackphone, so that's the first okay. thing. And the second thing is this guy has been on huge conference calls with us, telling us what's going on behind the scenes. So while I tell everyone, you know, you can take it with a grain of salt, but this just feels like it's, there's an eighty twenty chance that this is not going to happen. Eighty being most definitely right. twenty. Most definitely not. I mean, do you think you think if, if you know ZT comes out with like the ZT Blade Z Max Two, and it's an awesome device, and they're going to offer it for an awesome price? You know, what I'm saying you really think that Metro is going to be like, oh well, no, let go, let Cricket have it this time. You know, what I'm saying, heck no, bro, they're going to be jumping at it. They're going to be like, no, nah, we got to get that thing. You know, what I'm saying okay. they're going to promote it and all that stuff like they've been doing. Okay, you know, now they're not going to let the. They're I'm, not going to let the hit you with another angle. Get, Get it. I'm gonna hit you with another angle. Uh -huh. If they did that to Huawei, yeah, which has had amazing devices, which is at Apple's neck, makes you think they won't do it to ZTE. Mm. True. 
You got you got a you got a point right there. You got a, you got a, you got somewhat of a point right there. But Huawei is not is not a, a big name in the states as as ZTE is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And basically, you know, they they just flat out said we don't want Huawei being sold in any of these, you know, establishments or whatever. This, that, and the third. You know, they just don't trust Huawei for some reason. I don't even know what. But ZTE is kind of you know in the clear. They paid their money. You know, Huawei just has this like thing about them that I don't know what it is. But there's so many ZTE devices out there in the wild right now. You know, I I see somebody carrying a ZTE phone literally probably like the the people that I that I serve the guests that I serve I'd say at least at least half of the people that come in are rocking some sort of ZTE device whether it be the ZT Blade Z Max whether it be some ZT flip phone or whatever the case may be it's like it's it's so many of them dude that that carry ZTE phones so it's, they 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 have a big big share in the United States it's not like Huawei, everybody's well, like, wow, what, what is Huawei, you know? Well, the thing about it is Huawei, they're huge overseas. We know that. But when they were about to make their comeback, AT&T pulled the plug. And that's why Huawei is not as prominent in stores. But online, I think they're equally as popular, especially with the ZTE thing. The ZTE put Huawei back on the map. Now, the difference is the reason ZTE was brought back to life. You know why, right? Besides them paying the money, uh, what's the name of the Chinese president? Xin something. Yeah, I can't remember, but we'll just call him the Chinese president. Go ahead. Yeah, he basically called Donald Trump and said, look, man, if we pull the plug on ZTE, like 80,000 people are losing their jobs. And as soon as he heard that, and Congress is fighting against ZTE and telling Donald, "Hey, you know what? Um, we don't. We sh- you shouldn't revive this." But he said, "Whatever. You know, there's a trade war. We're trying to be friendly with China, so I'm going to bring them back." Mm. But that's that's how it went All down right. because of ZTE's sacrifice, so to say, quote unquote. Huawei didn't meet the same fate. Hmm. All right. Well, let, let's let's bring let's bring the conversation back to the Samsung because we haven't really. I was really wanted to cover the Samsung thing. You know what I'm saying? Tonight, uh, what do you think about this Bluetooth pen and all that other stuff? I mean, I actually like the phone. The phone looks looks pretty cool. Looks pretty decent. I like it. Four thousand milliamp battery is definitely a go. Uh, you know the the freaking the S Pen with the you know with the Bluetooth and all that stuff. It's like you know that's definitely pretty cool. Uh, you know, something that hasn't been seen, basically. And I don't know why it hasn't been implemented until now. You know, that's like, wow. You know what I'm saying? That could have been that could have been done, you know, years ago. But they're just doing it now. Yeah. I Yeah, they're a bit they're a bit late to the party. I love that watch, though. I've seen a few videos of it. That watch is nice. But honestly, like I was looking at the watch. I haven't checked, but probably four or five hundred bucks. <laughs> um, I was looking at the specs. I don't remember them off the top of my head, but there's some things, uh, and I looked it off of CNET. Some of the specs that the Note 8 versus Note 9 had, it's like they downgraded in some areas for the Note 9 and upgraded in some areas as well. So there's certain things that are better on the Note 8 than the Note 9. Um. A thousand bucks, though, man. Like, Pop if they would have. Uh oh. Did I lose my hustles? I'm here. No, I, I, I was gonna let you talk. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. It just seemed like you cut out. Uh, somebody asked me, John, are, you, uh, John, are you in charge of setting up the Galaxy Note phone display at Target? Yeah, basically, and I'm gonna have it right in front of me, so I'll definitely be taking a look at it. You know what I'm saying? I'll do Samsung. a little video about Samsung. it, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Samsung with, yeah. with, the display, Samsung. with the display phone. Samsung sends people to set the thing up. I think he was asking who's gonna put the display up. Oh, okay. Yeah, but we'll have we'll have it in the back or whatever. We'll have the little demo phone and all that other stuff. So 
I'll be able to, you know, mess around with it or whatever, play around with it and see some of the functions and all that stuff. I mean, I think they really, I think they really hit the nail. You know what I'm saying? They really did. They really did a good device. They did the battery justice this time. It's not like a little small tinsy battery in there. The Bluetooth pen support. I think that's pretty cool. That's better than just having the, the, the pen. I think that actually makes it better than, you know, just having the pen because all this time I was like the pen, the pen, who, care, who really cares? But the whole functionality where you can actually pull it out and, you, you know, you can take the little selfies with it and you, you can do other things. You can do slideshows. You can, you know, pause and play your stuff. I think that's really compelling. I actually like that feature. That's like a feature that's like really, really, you know, worth it, basically, in my opinion. I mean, and it's so yeah, simple. But... Like the simplest, dumbest things, you know what I'm saying, are like the ones that actually, you know, like, I don't know, that it just... It feels right to me. It, feel, it feels like, it's like, damn, they should have been doing this, you know? Um. And it's like, and, and, you, and you, put the, you, just, you put the thing in for, you know, you know, one minute or whatever, 40 seconds, and it gives you a 30-minute charge on it. I think that's pretty dope, man. I think they, I think, I think they did what they, they had to do this time. It's just, I mean, a rack though, man. Ten one hundred dollar bills, you know uh, what I mean? That's a whole so, paycheck for some so people. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now, if you, but if you're with T-Mobile, Sprint, AT and T, Verizon, and you know you pay your certain whatever twenty, thirty, forty bucks, I mean a month. I mean, you know, I'm not know, saying that I'm gonna go what buy is the it. IPhone? I'm just saying that like that's pretty cool. Huh? I don't have it in front of me, but what's the what is an iPhone X payment every month? Let me let me do the math real quick. I'll be right back. Uh, a thousand I divided think it's like by 30, 40 bucks. It's almost the same amount. It's forty one bucks a yeah, month. I mean, it's almost the same amount. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, especially the Verizon people, man. You know, the unlimited plan for one person is seventy five dollars. Plus forty one dollars, plus all those nickel and dime fees that they're actually bringing back. It's it's I, I would not pay over eight hundred dollars for it, and you know me, bro. I buy it outright. I'll buy it like straight up. But I just don't. Oh, okay, it's, yeah. look, it's worth the thousand. I don't, I don't have good credit like that, so they're not they're not going to sell me that phone anyways. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be able to make payments on it anyways. But I'm just saying, like, I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't think. Like I'm usually like very like uh, with towards Samsung and towards you know the Note series and all that stuff. I don't think they did a bad job this time. I was pretty, you know, I was actually pretty wild, and I didn't even watch the whole thing, you know, till the whatever. But I like it, man. I think I think it's, you know, I, even if this is the last of the Note series, I think it was a good send off. I think it was like okay, this is what the Note was always supposed. They they should have always had that Bluetooth functionality in there. You know what I'm saying? They should have what always Bluetooth had that big, big battery in there. What Bluetooth functionality huh? are you referring to? Okay, now the pen, the, the, the S Pen, actually has a battery and its own Bluetooth radio inside of it. So when you pull the Bluetooth, when you pull the, the pen out of it, it's actually its own Bluetooth, and it's already connected and everything. So now, you know, instead of having to do all these gestures and all this other stuff, you just literally, you click the pen, and it takes a picture. You double click it and it'll move the camera back. You know what I'm saying? So you can basically oh. use it like a remote. Yeah, that's cool. And they have and they're gonna have extra and they're gonna have extra functionality. They're gonna open it up to uh to people where you can actually, you know, developers can actually develop different apps. You can do slide slow slide slideshow presentations with it. So there's a lot of a lot of different things with it now. Not it's not just a little doodling pen, you know, whatever. A little drawing pen, like, because that was my main beef with the whole note thing. It's like, come on, man. You know, like, I'm really going to pull a pen out and start doodling and stuff. But, you know, I mean, if you want to take a group picture, you know what I'm saying? You set the, you set the, the, the note down, you, you take the pen with you and, you know, click one, snap, 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 and you're taking pictures of everybody. I think that's dope, you know? Yeah, that's actually, that, yeah, that's, that's something awesome. that's not, that's not something that's just put there because it's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's something that actually, has a, uh, a a function, so that's I give I give I give it to Samsung for that. You know what I'm saying? It's not just 
some they just threw it the wall and see if they stuck, you know? Did you but see that awful? That's just me. Did you see that absolutely see awful? You know what? There's already unboxings coming out. Of what? the Note 9. Can you hear me? What, okay, is, the style? what is this? Style? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. What What now? What were you asking? No, I'm saying there's already uh, Note 9 unboxings coming out. Like, they worked quick. Um, oh, yeah. You 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 already know. They, they already had to. Sh- there was actually Note 9 unboxings while the whole live stream was going down. So you already knew. Like, uh, Mobile, you know, Mr. Mobile, you know, and all these other different companies, uh, MKBHD, Unboxed Every, whatever, whoever, you know, unboxed the phone. You already know they had an unboxing ready to go. Uh, they were just waiting to hit the public button. Well, this is the thing. Like CNET, who's like on the top of the mountain when it comes to digital news, especially mobile news, did the worst unboxing I'd ever seen of the Note 9. Like I was like, oh, my goodness, I can't believe they approved this. And then the unboxer was like, oh, if you're not a reviewer, you're not going to get this bag with all these goodies in it or something like that. It's like, come on, guys. (laughs) They said that? Yeah. Wow. And I left a comment saying, you spend $1,000. CNET has been going down the tubes, bro, recently. Like, they they, they just, I, I don't like the way they report anymore, man. I remember I used to watch them, but as of lately, dude, I'm I'm just not impressed with what they're what they've been saying. Yeah, that video has a thousand oh, likes and, and two hundred dislikes. Oh wow! Hey, shout out to Tender this Tech because he actually live streamed the whole thing for the MCR ninjas that watched and all that. I wasn't able to, you know, stream the whole thing because I was working and whatnot. But mm, yeah, now that is pretty disappointing that it was not five G uh, compatible. That was kind of like, mm, you know, show us yeah. the video, John. Let me see. Those goodies are just a press kit. Yeah, basically. Like, so they're just showing, they're just, they're just showing off what they got because they're a reviewer. Like, oh my God, that's, that's silly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was just, it I was, know. like it channels was like so me, bad. you know what I'm saying? Small so channels bad. like me. It, if I got something, I would just, I would just, um, you know, I would show it off just, you know, so you guys can see it or whatever. But you know, when you're that big, like, come on, dude, just like you're like, you know? Yeah, it was just awful. You know, and honestly, if you spend a thousand dollars on this device, any everyone can get all that crap that she pulled out of the bag. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. I mean. What what comes inside the box? What, what are we getting? The uh, it's the same the stuff headphones? as always. You're getting the, the, okay. The headphones, the adapter, uh, the yeah. Hmm. It's like you know. I, I feel like telling Samsung, yet, it? "Hey, it hey, does. Samsung." I'm, if I'm spending a thousand dollars on this device, why does a tech YouTuber, a giant one? get these items but i don't is there a thousand dollars better than mine i know they're gonna be like yeah. well no they, they didn't even people. bro you, you know you know they didn't even you know they didn't even buy it so i mean come on now i don't see why it's a big deal pen having having bluetooth i mean i just think it's something a functionality that they should have been having and i think they did a good job with it They will most likely launch 5G next year. So, yeah. But then next year, you know what I'm saying, this big flagship that you spent $1,000 on is already going to be obsolete. You know how many devices are going to stop working when 5G launches? It's, man. I'm not I'm not going to say that they're going to stop working, but they're just not going to be, you know, as functional as the other ones. It's like, you know, you already have the Moto Mod. That, that's coming out, out from Motorola that's going to give the functionality, you know, 5G. But with 5G, you're going to have to have extra antennas. You're going to have to make the phone, phones bulkier. So just wait, guys. Our phones are going to get bigger, not smaller.
Just give me the headphones, screw that game. You know how many devices will stop working when Sprint's roaming with Verizon ends? Hmm. Let me see. 5G phones are already out. Emergency services are already on it. Huh. Okay. What do you what do you think about this uh what is it? The big speed, Google Home and all that? Not Google Home. Jesus. Gal is Galaxy Home, right? Yeah. I mean, do you think do you think people are gonna be into that or they just it's just going to be something that's like, eh. what do you think? Only the hardcore um, people, you know, the uh, the ones that have to, the with the ecosystems. Yeah. So basically Samsung is building their ecosystem out even more with this big speed thing. Yep. I think they, I think they just came late to the party, man. I think, you know, Google Assistant's there. You know, Siri's been there, and I think Bigsby is like, I mean, obviously Bigsby, Bigsby is going to be on all Samsung devices going forward, but I don't know. I, th I think they just kind of, they slipped up and they didn't, they didn't make, they didn't come out with Bigsby fast enough, you know, because remember, what, what was it, Samsung uh, S-Voice? Yeah. That thing was terrible, by the way. I only like speakers that hit hard on bass. Yeah, man. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I, man, all these, like, little little speakers, dude, I don't know. I just can't get with them, man. What do you think about the speaker game, man? I think it's they're not as good as they used to be. Right? You know, man, I'll give you an like, example. My Stylo 4 has a terrible speaker. But the E5 Super speaker is super loud. It's not the clearest one, but it's loud. Mm -hmm. Now, when you put on some headphones and you do that functionality, the the what you call it, the um, DTS on the Stylo 4, it sounds awesome. But as far as it just you know playing aloud, yeah, it's not that good. Chris is sh shook. What's up? What's going on? He says, hi, MTR. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. I've always been like a Bluetooth type person. I have so many Bluetooth speakers and headphones. I don't know, man. I've, I've never really been like a big, you know, get your phone out and just let it, you know, you know, fill the room with music. But hmm. Hayden Gaming and other stuff says, I'm new to your channel. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so what else are we gonna do? See, okay, so we oh, the watch, the watch. So, what's new with this watch? It's got what well, it's got the uh, sim card in it now, or whatever, so you can basically have service with it, LT, LT service, and all that. But they did, haven't they done that before? Yeah, they have. Is it a nano sim card in there, or is it that new e sim thing that the uh, Apple Watch has? Let me see. Well, I found the price is three hundred and thirty dollars. Three hundred and thirty dollars. Okay, okay. See, I'm going off a of hearsay, which I don't really like to do. Let's go ahead and go to screen share. Let's actually look at the, the at the uh, device itself. So I'm gonna I'm gonna screen share with you guys real quick, and let's go ahead and take a look at what is actually going on here. So the regular ones are coming out on September eighth, according to CNET. But there's going to be an LTE version coming out later. But there's no price on that right now. Okay, let's see, guys. Now I got 19. I got 19 legs. I got 36 watching. Come on, peeps. Help your boy out. Samsung. Galaxy Note 9. Let's go ahead and look at some specs. Note 9. So. Hey, Lady Red, what's going on? The Moto speaker is the E4 Plus. The Moto speaker is the E4 Plus. I don't get your question. Ken Goody Jr., what's going on, dude? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, let's see. So, it, CNET saying is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 thousand dollar price tag a mistake? 
I mean, if the iPhone X can be a thousand dollars, I don't see why not a Galaxy Note Nine can't be a thousand dollars. I would argue that the Galaxy Note Nine has more of a you know a reason to be a thousand dollars. So now this watch has some pretty awesome specs. I already pulled them up, but they're also on CNET. Uh, I'll read one. Here. I'll read one real quick. There's over 60,000 watch faces available from the App Store, the Galaxy App Store. That is crazy. Okay, different, so watch face, different watch face for every day. Okay, so it's $999 for the 128 gig and six gigs of RAM. And then the top tier one, 512 gigabytes and 8 gigs of RAM. Lord have mercy. It's going to be $1,250. 8 gigs of RAM, dude. My God, man. that's And and, and, and it's going to be basically a terabyte of storage in there, man. Like, that's, that's just ridiculous, man. But yeah, I like I like the design. I like how they put the, the fingerprint reader at the bottom of the camera. They didn't, you know, they didn't mess around with that, put it on the side, do all the other garbage that they were doing i like it man i like it you know what i'm saying i like it it's it's functional i like it let's see here uh I'm back. let's see what else we got here four thousand milliamps like i was saying they even have like water carbon cooling system that's pretty cool Mm. Okay. Um, pop, come to, and you can get in-game bonus items if you opt for the Fortnite pre-order package. The other choices: noise canceling AKG headphones. Man, I'll take the headphones. The, the heck with that stuff with the what? Okay, so the camera is basically the same as the Galaxy S9 Plus. Uh. See, I didn't, I didn't see about the, I didn't see about the part about the camera, at all. That's the part that I missed. It reminds me a lot of an LG G6 or G7. Mm, I can barely hear you now. This is my headphones. I don't know. Deck software. HDMI adapter, okay. Mm. Huh. Okay. Let's see here. The watch. Samsung. What is it called? What's the what's the watch called? No hustles, bro. We can't hear you at all. Oh, he's not. He's not even here. Okay. He's not here. He'll probably join in. All right. So, what is the what is the what is the watch called, guys? Samsung or Galaxy Galaxy Watch? Is it called the Galaxy Watch now? Galaxy Watch. I think that's what they called it. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, here we go. The Galaxy Watch. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Rather buy a car than a phone. Yep. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm just showing you guys what you know. Say what's in the news tonight. You know, today basically. Samsung's back with a new smartwatch and fresh branding. Are you back, bro? Yeah. Okay, can you hear me okay? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. For some reason, the E5 Supra is not good with Hangouts. Hmm. Well, that's. But yeah, like I was saying, man, it reminds me. The camera reminds me a lot of the one on the G6 or G7. Hmm. 
Let's see here. Samsung is back with a new smartwatch and fresh branding. Galaxy Watch. It features 3G LTE connectivity, charged wirelessly. There will be two models, a 46 milliliter, millimeter, I said milliliter, like you're about to drink the watch. Um, so 46 millimeter silver version, a smaller 42 black and rose gold. Okay, so they they basically dumped the gear branding, which I think I think they should have then dumped that gear branding. I, I didn't really like that gear, this and gear that. You know what I'm saying? They should have been called it the Galaxy Watch. I mean, might as well. I don't know why they kept on with this gear stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, three twenty nine ninety nine, like you said, three hundred thirty, and the other one will cost three fifty. LT version will be available through AT&T Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile. That's nice. Always nice to see that. <sighs> Anyone who pre-orders the Bluetooth models through Samsung.com before September 8th will receive a free watch band. Ooh, a free watch band. <laughs> Gorilla DX Plus Glass. What is that? I guess that's some new stuff, huh? Hmm. Dang, man. Either a 40, 472 milliamp battery for the 46 millimeter or a 270 amp battery for... Wow, that's a big... That's a pretty big difference. It's almost double the price. I mean, double the size. Hmm. Heart rate monitor. Okay, okay. Bluetooth version includes a, uh, okay. So I mean, yeah, if I had the money, I'd probably, I'd probably pull the trigger. I'd probably pull the trigger. Mm, and the Galaxy Home, what are we, what are we, what are, what are our thoughts of the Galaxy Home? Everybody's saying that they, they wouldn't, they wouldn't even get it, they wouldn't even bother. Galaxy Home. Samsung is linked to the smart speaker game. Here's how it can catch up. So yeah, see everybody's talking about everybody's talking about that they're late, they're late, they're late, you know. So yeah. I think it's just kind of late. It's really kind of just late to the game with that whole thing going on. So let's go ahead and switch back to the uh stop sharing. Let's go ahead and just switch back to the camera here. So no hustles. What's the final verdict, bro? You're going to go out and get it as soon as it drops or what? I can't even say, bro. I'll say I will one day, then the next day I won't. I'm really undecided. Okay. But you're you're pretty good. You're a pretty big Galaxy fan, aren't you? Yeah. To some yeah, extent. I, like Galaxy. I just don't like that price tag. I, I wouldn't pay yeah. over 800 for it. Give it a week or two, and you'll find them brand new for about that price. True, sure, they'll probably come down in price. I mean, what if Target, you know, offers a good, a, a compelling two or three hundred dollar, uh, you know, gift card for it? Then, yeah, that could happen. I don't know. <laughs> Galaxy Home looks like an Apple Home Pod on a diet. Yeah, it looks kind of weird, man. It looks kind of funky, but. Mr. Carewer says they should really put a 5,000 milliamp battery in the thing, though. I mean, yeah, I can see that. Well, anyways, he said, oh, Tizen. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not digging the Tizen thing. Because it's, it's not like a, it doesn't have the whole, the, it doesn't have the, the ecosystem on there, dude. What does the sticker on my hat say? It says original snapback. I always leave a sticker on there. Original snapback. I like leaving a sticker. We don't want another explosion, Mr. Carroll. Where? Yep, there you go. 
All right, guys. I guess I'm going to go ahead and go. I know this has been like a short live stream, not very long, but I just wanted to get you guys' this opinion, you know what I'm saying, on the Galaxy Note and tell you guys that I was kind of, I was kind of, uh, you know, wrong with the whole thing about the Fortnite thing. So I'm glad, I'm glad that people are being able to play their Fortnite that like they want to, and they didn't make an exclusive uh, just to the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. That would have been a disaster if they would have done that. So yeah, I guess we're gonna go ahead and go. All right, Mill Hustles, you got anything to say? Hey, everybody, subscribe to Mill Hustles for sure. Appreciate that, yo. Nah, man, I'm just really undecided to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Um, hey, how many subscribers you have, bro? 240. 240. Hey, let's get this dude up to 300, man. Come on now. We can get in there. 300,000. 300,000. <laughs> okay, okay. Dang. All right. Peace out, guys. I'm going to have a video up tomorrow for you guys as usual. And, yeah, so thank you all for watching. Y'all have a great night.